A diploid cell that undergoes meiosis typically produces four haploid cells, which have precisely half the genetic material of the parent cell. The diploid cell has two complete sets of chromosomes, and each of the haploid cells has a single complete set of chromosomes. Non-disjunction refers to an error in cell division. In some cases, homologous chromosomes do not separate from each other during cell division. In other cases, the problem occurs when sister chromatids do not separate from each other. Non-disjunction can occur in mitosis or meiosis. If non-disjunction occurs in meiosis 1, both chromosomes of a homologous pair migrate to the same pole, leaving one daughter cell without a chromosome. The cells go through meiosis 2 normally, producing four gametes with unusual numbers of chromosomes. Two gametes have one complete set of chromosomes plus one extra chromosome, indicated by N plus 1. The other two gametes lack a chromosome and are designated N minus 1. What do you think the gametes would look like if all pairs of homologous chromosomes went to the same pole during meiosis 1? Drag the correct chromosome arrangement shown on the right to fill the gametes on the left. Now let's see the steps leading to the formation of abnormal diploid gametes. Non-disjunction occurs in meiosis 1 as all pairs of homologous chromosomes migrate to just one of the poles of the cell. The cell divides. In the cell containing the chromosomes, meiosis 2 is normal. The sister chromatids separate and the cell divides to form two diploid rather than the normal haploid gametes. The results are different when non-disjunction occurs in meiosis 2 rather than meiosis 1. Here, meiosis 1 proceeds normally, with each chromosome of a pair migrating to opposite poles. If non-disjunction occurs in meiosis 2, both sister chromatids of a chromosome migrate to the same pole of the cell. Only one chromosome separates abnormally, but this results in two abnormal cells. Two of the gametes are normal, having a haploid number of chromosomes. The other two are abnormal. One has an extra chromosome, indicated by N plus 1, and the other has one chromosome too few, indicated by N minus 1. The abnormal gametes produced by meiotic errors have major consequences in the next generation. If a gamete with N plus 1 chromosomes fuses with a normal gamete, the result is a diploid zygote with a third copy of a chromosome. This chromosome abnormality is called trisomy. In humans, a few of the smaller chromosomes can be tolerated in three copies, such as chromosome 21, which results in Down syndrome. However, most trisomic conditions are lethal. When a normal haploid gamete and a gamete having N-1 chromosomes fuse, a monosomic zygote results. In monosomy, one chromosome is missing, so the cell has only one copy of a particular chromosome. In humans, most monosomies are lethal. However, a female can survive with just one X chromosome, but she will have Turner syndrome. When a diploid gamete and a haploid gamete fuse, the result is a triploid zygote with three sets of chromosomes. Triploidy in humans is lethal. However, plant species can tolerate extra sets of chromosomes. A number of healthy plant species have more than eight sets of chromosomes. Cases in which the chromosome number differs from normal by just a few are called aneuploid conditions. Cases in which extra complete sets of chromosomes exist are polyploid conditions.